I'm very frustrated right now for a lot of reasons, but we have some free therapy here. I didn't go anywhere. Bro, my ear was ringing after that fucking... Oh my god. Bro, it hurts so bad to, to hit that shit without gloves or anything. I You barely realized that it came off? Why? Well, I, I wasn't thinking about it being on the dirty ass floor. Ground. Ground. It's the same thing. Road. It's that same thing. The ground and the floor? Why do we always have these conversations when I'm fucking... Car. The ground? No, I just gonna let this slide. Well, hold, hold, hold on a second. Hey, hey fat ass, go back and eat your McDonald's. Hey, Bro, that sounds pretty good right now. Can you hear this? McDonald's. Listen to this. Oh, you're very funny, fat ass clown. At least I'm not gonna <laughs> there. You're a fat clown. <laughs> That better not be fiberglass. Fucking like thick ass bulletproof plastic shit they put in. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That's as thick as a fucking new age Mac computer. You know, when I'm always doing this, when I'm doing this type of stuff, I'm always wondering if any of the neighbors are looking out their windows. <laughs> But I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little better. We need to buy you some uh, WWE fake door so you can just fucking easily break this shit out. Exactly, of them. like that's that's what gets me the calmest, the fastest is just being able to go absolutely ham on something. That's why I've always loved rage rooms, but I've never actually gone to one, and I want to so badly. See, the nice thing about a rage room though is that they'll clean it for you. I have to clean this. But with great power comes great responsibility. Don't just smash it and leave it there, all right? You gotta like clean it as much as it sucks. Okay, so we got a little bit of a problem. God damn it. Um, yeah, so we lost a life today. I'll tell you more in a sec. <sighs> now, I'm digging a grave in the front yard. You may be asking why. Don't ask. Uh, sadly, this bird decided he was going to pass away on our porch. I didn't want to just like throw his body away in the trash. That feels so wrong. Like This used to be a life, right? Maybe he had kids. Maybe he had a wife. Jesus. Uh, so anyways, I want to give him a proper burial. Say some nice words for him, right? Poor guy, man, you know? I feel really bad, honestly. Who knows what he went through, you know, his last moments. He was reaching out for help, but nobody was here to help him. We named him Krillin for no reason. Ah, oh, there you go, buddy. <sighs> he was a good bird, you know? Uh, I didn't know him for too long. I actually didn't know him at all, but I can just tell by looking at him that he was a good guy. Maybe a girl, I don't know. Mother Nature created this, and Mother Nature took this. Hey, we're trying to do a fucking funeral. Jesus Christ, have some respect, dude. Oh. Alex, would you like to say some kind words? Didn't know him very well, but he was a good bird. Exactly, exactly. It was nice meeting you for the time I knew you. I got to pick up his fragile body. This is fucking ridiculous, dude. I hate when this shit happens. So sad. Oh, I almost kissed my glove. That would have been disgusting, dude. Rest well, 
little birdie. Go to birdie heaven. Hopefully your spirit lives on. Okay. God, that's enough. Let's go. <laughs> my mom's truck got really dirty because I have to park under this tree at my friend's house. And uh, so when it rains, it gets all the tree shit on it. It's annoying. Oh, dude. <laughs> Yo, this shit is so satisfying. Oh, Alex. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. What was that? That was a dollar. And I don't know how much time a dollar gives you, but obviously not fucking enough. God, it like blows me away. Um, I don't have anything to dry it, but you know, I just wanted to get all that shit off of it. Holster my gun. Ah! That's a nice looking truck. Yeah, that's it. Forgot the code or what? Jeez. No. Wow. Okay, well, me and my mom are going to a steam room because your boy is quitting smoking. And so in doing that, I'm trying to like cleanse and heal my lungs. So I've been drinking this stuff that's supposed to help clear your lungs out. And now we're about to hit a steam room. I'm so excited. I don't know how much footage I'm actually gonna be able to get in there because obviously I don't want like moisture getting into my phone. And I was gonna wear my mic, but it's gonna be so fucking moist in there that yeah, I don't want to ruin my mic either. So, but you know, I'm just letting you guys know. Then we're gonna hop in the hot tub. Say hi. Got her chocolate as always. Look at that shit. Yo! Looks like a hot box. Yeah, I'm literally not gonna be able to get any footage of this. I was planning on trying to get footage, but it's. You're not even gonna be able to see me in there. And it's just gonna. Watch, let's see. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh, that's crazy. I'm not done yet, but um, I just wanted to show you. This is insane, dude. I'm just dripping. I don't know what's sweat and what's moisture, but. How moisture? Dude, steam rooms are so cold. Yeah, I thought like I wasn't gonna be able to handle the heat. It's not bad. Like once you, you're just like in a mindset, you know. Okay, we're finally done. We're gonna hop in the pool real quick to cool off. But my dumb ass, I was, uh, I like jumped in the pool and shit and I was in the jacuzzi and I had my head under the water and all this shit, so I'm worried about my hair, but, you know, I think it'll be fine. I didn't even think of that when I like jumped in the pool and shit, I was like, wait, I just dyed my hair. Like, this shit's gonna like, fade or turn a nasty color, but, I guess we'll see. Yeah, it's semi-permanent, so I'm hoping it just goes back to blonde. 